Hi everyone. In this video, I want to share how I do a disable button or toggle button and change the image of the button in script. So first of all, we need to create a button. So game object UI button. So we just drag and double click the button so the button is over here then you can just move it to the center of it okay now you can change we want to add the image here so you can choose the image so you can choose the image here this both we want to use a block and a block disable so we want to click the able a block and then the a block is disabled and then we click again then we enable again so now we delete the word fair we no need to button text we no need the button text so we just remove it make it empty and then we click again for the button then we select the target graphic sorry hey, sorry it's over here image script a bit blur you just drag it over here source image and then you just put here okay so the buttons is here then you can just drag it can make it to the size okay so the size we like it now this button we make it to be my button okay now we need to create a our second step is to create a C sharp script. So we right click over here and then you can create C sharp script. Okay, from the C sharp script, we put as disable button. Disable. Okay, and then you can double click. Double click your script. Here you can tap your script over here. So first of all, what you need to do is you always remember using uh, to tap using Unity Engine.ui. It will be useful for every time when you want to use the UI. You need to assign it. And then you put this one require component hmm. type of then button. Okay, this sentence um you can ignore if if. Your button is no problem because mine has got problem, so I've typed this one. It's forced the Unity to uh, accept the button. Okay, now I will need to initialize it first. Uh, first of all, we initialize the button first. Okay, public button, then I put my button. And then we assign the initialize the sprite first the image of the button so we put sprite then block a 
Okay, another is disable image so sprite block A disable. Public sprite block A disable. Okay, and then uh, we initialize a counter using private counter. Okay, equal to zero. And then for the word start here, you can put my button dot equal to get component. Okay, then put button. Okay, for update. We no need, so we can put public void change button function. Then we use modulus if statement with modulus so condition is if counter plus plus and then you can put if statement so counter modulus to equal equal to One. So, mm, the first one is block A, and then another changing statement image is block A disabled. So, we just copy paste. Okay, disable. So the first time is the original one is block A, and then so the first one should be disable. The second will be block A, so should be put zero. Okay, we try to debug it. Yep, sorry, wrong. So brackish. So the get component should be no x. Sorry. So now you can um, put the code to the camera, main camera there. Okay, or you can just click the main camera and then add component and then choose script. Then disable. Okay, now you drag the main camera back to the script there.
so the disable and then you can okay here you can see the my button there so we the script we want to assign is my button so we go back to main camera there so my button is assigned to my button is referred to my button and then for the block a you can select the sprite here and then for the block a disable then you click the small circle small circle there and choose a block disable okay Here you can make the button to be clickable, so you choose the button, and then um, then you can follow the on click over button script there. So on click, then you add to list, and then you uh insert the object that you just now drag the script. So it's main camera, and then you can choose disable. Then our function is change button. Disable is our function. Okay. Just now we create the disable function. So now we can run it, debug it. Oh, this one you should be unchecked first. Then you can debug it. So my target is achieved. This is my disable button. The script is uh, display at the end of my video. So you can just drag to the end of my video. Then you can. Uh, copy down my script. Hope this one can help you too. Bye bye.